Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at the client server architecture. Now in simple terms, a client is someone who requests and a server is someone who responds. So a server is basically a machine which provides us some kind of service. Now let's say we have a client and a server. So the client will send a request to the server, then the server will do some processing and send back a response to the client. Right? Now what is this request and response? Now let's assume that our server is capable of performing some mathematical operations uh, like addition, subtraction, multiplication or division and our client over here wants addition service from this server. So in this case, our client will send two numbers as request to the server. Then the server will take these two numbers and it will perform addition operation on them and then it will send the result of that operation as response to the client, right? So this is how a simple client server architecture works. Now in this case, since our server is providing us calculator service, we can call it a calculator server. Now similarly, there are different types of servers. For example, if a server is providing us files, then we can call it file server. Then um, some servers are involved in email communication. So we can call them mail servers. Now the most commonly used servers nowadays are called web servers. Okay. So web servers basically provide us web pages. So whenever you enter URL of any website, the request will first go to a web server and then you will get a representation of a web page as response, which will be rendered on your browser. Okay. So it works something like this, right? So uh, this was a client server architecture and you can uh, use this uh, design to uh, make a simple chat application. But if you want to connect multiple clients to a server, then you need to change the architecture a little bit. Okay. So it won't be uh, straightforward. So uh, in that case, let's say you'll have a server over here and uh, you'll have multiple clients connected to it. Okay. Now in this case, the communication will take place via the server. So for example, if client one wants to send a message to all the other clients, then client one will first send a message to the server and then the server will route that message to all the other clients. Okay. So it will work like this. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, this was a quick introduction to our client server architecture. If you liked my tutorials, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.